Mr. Speaker, my, uh, my honourable friend is absolutely right. Uh, the, leader of the, the, the leader of the opposition's record on women is questionable at best, Mr. Speaker. And before, and before Labour do start preaching about this issue, they should work out the answer to one very simple question. I'm certain what a woman is. Is he? Yeah. We now come to the leader of the opposition, Keir Starmer. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Can I join the Prime Minister in paying tribute to the brave British personnel involved in the evacuation effort from Sudan? The Government must do everything in its power to urgently evacuate UK nationals still trapped in Sudan. Mr Speaker, yesterday George Osborne said that the Tory party's handling of the economy makes them vandals. He's right, isn't he? Minister. Well, I, Mr. 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 Speaker, while we're in the business of quoting former chancellors and shadow chancellors, I don't know if he saw the remarks from a, a former Labour shadow chancellor yesterday who said our country had faced four once in a century shocks, threats to our economy, and the fact that we've come through it is a triumph, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. £1,600 worse off. Yeah. Mr Speaker, I'm genuinely fascinated to know, does he really think that everything's fine or is he just clueless about life outside of his bubble? Mr Mr. Speaker, because because of the actions that we have taken, well, let's just go over it. A single mother, a single mother working full-time on the national living wage, this year will get £1,300 more support from this government. A working couple on low income with two children will get £1,800, Mr Speaker. That's what delivering for Working Britain looks like. But if he has any actual ideas for the economy, he should say so. Because all I hear from the party opposite, it's more spending, more borrowing, higher inflation, higher interest rates. It's the same old Labour Party. This is Mr 24 tax rises. And I've never heard anything so out of touch as the answer that he has just given. And it's not just his refusal to take any responsibility for the damage they've done, the crashed economy, the hit to living standards. It's also he refuses to take the action that's needed. He could stop the handouts he's giving to oil and gas giants. He could scrap his beloved non-DOM status. He could put that money back in the hands of working people and get the NHS back on its feet. That's what a Labour government would do. Why doesn't he? Mr. Mr. Speaker, the record was clear. Look at it right now. Record, record numbers of people in work, Mr. Speaker. Record numbers of people in work. Inequality no lower. The number of people in poverty lower. Those in low pay, the lowest numbers on record, Mr. Speaker. He talks about this London thing. I think he's already spent the money that he claims he'd raised on five different things, Mr. Speaker, because it's the same old Labour Party. They're always running out of other people's money. Mr Speaker, he calls it this non-dom thing. Let's be be honest about what his refusal to scrap the non-dom status means. It means that at every possible opportunity, he has voted to put taxes up on working people, while at the same time taking every possible opportunity to protect a tax avoidance scheme that helped his own finances. Why is the Prime Minister telling people across the country that their taxes must go up so that his can stay low? Mr Speaker, the facts are these. The very wealthiest pay more tax and the poorest pay less tax today than under under any year of the last Labour government, Mr Speaker. We've also boosted the national living wage, boosted universal credit and pensioners. But Mr Speaker, the rank hypocrisy of it, as we saw, as we saw last week, when it comes to his own special pension scheme... I mean... I said, I said it last week, but I'll say it again. It's, it's literally one law for him and a tax rise for everybody else. <laughs> Mr Speaker, he, here's the difference. I'd scrap his pension giveaway, whether it affected me or not. He refuses, he refuses to scrap the non-DOM status that benefits him and his family.